guys, Silver Poseidon here. Alright, um, so this week I did uh, some more buying for the pack um, for my bug out bag and I got a mess kit. It includes a frying pan plate thing um, with a removable pan handle, a bowl, a pot with a lid, and a cup. Um, I figured this would be good to get. Um, it's pretty light. Um, that way I can do some cooking and uh, you know drinking. So I figure you know maybe I, maybe I buy one, one or you know buy two of these or something like that, or um, buy one of these and then just get more cups or something for each pack. Um, and I said I wanted to start on a, I'm do, you know I'm working on my first aid kit. I um, kind of wanted to see what was in this, so I bought this. Um, it comes with some stuff. I figure, hey, you know, if uh, I need to abandon the bug out, I could toss this in my pocket. Um, it comes with uh, 30 adhesive bandages, three clear adhesive, three fabric adhesive, two non-adherent pads, three alcohol pads in, in the case. So I figure, you know, it'd be quick, easy to carry, um, throw it in a small pocket, and it's there just in case. Um, I got all sorts of items. Um, hopefully these are all sealed. Yeah, it looks like it. So these will be easy to take out and, and toss in. Um, it's uh, rolled gauze, extra absorbent. Um, this is 50 medium alcohol prep pads. Um, you got a wound, you want to clean it. Right? And um, I did buy some more hydrogen peroxide. I think I'm gonna buy um, one a month, and then that way I can stack those. Cause uh, I'll do a review on on some of the different things that you can do with hydrogen peroxide. It's, it's a cool thing to have. Um, I got hand sanitizer. Um, Cause I'm a germaphobe. Yeah, as my my wife says, <laughs> um, really hate germs. And as you see, kills 99%. Uh, oh, it's lemon scented. I thought I got regular. It's fine. Uh, I might have to trade this out <laughs> no. with something else. Leave this at home and then buy a different one. I didn't want it scented though. Why? But uh, hand sanitizer is great for killing germs and you know cleaning up. Um, you know, just like the alcohol pads, it'll do the same thing. Um, it'll probably burn, burn like hell. But I guess you know nothing is worse than having something. So let's see. I got elastic bandage which doesn't really need to be sterile comes with the metal clips um, get a sprain you're gonna want something um, it's really easy to sprain an ankle or a wrist or oh actually here here you go um, this is good for elbows ankles knees and lower leg um, I suppose you could use it for your wrist or foot um, then obviously it says you should get a bigger one for your shoulder. But something is better than nothing, right? All right, um, dressing bandages. These are non-stick. Um, this is, you know, for bigger wounds. Um, what's great about these, I'll be able to put, take these out and toss these in my, uh, my uh, sealed plastic container that you saw me buy um, that way they don't get wet or anything and it'll be a lot more uh, compact uh, I got a face face masks um, this will be good if you know you gotta work you know, help somebody out clean them up you don't want to catch something you know if you ever get that that zombie apocalypse <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how much this would do but um, this would be a little bit uh, better than nothing um, if you got to deal with somebody that is sick. Um, you don't want to catch the flu when you're, you know, out bugging out. You don't want to catch something to get get sick. So there's that. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, let's see. If, hopefully they're ah uh, they're not separate. Oh, I guess what, whatever. Right. Just I'll throw it in a bag and seal it or something. Throw them each in a bag and seal them. I don't know. I'll decide what to do. Um, I got a hundred count um, 
bandages. Um, you know, not bad for a buck. All sorts of all sorts of uh, different band-aid sizes. Um, because <clears throat> cuts can you don't want to get those infected and, and cause other problems. Um, I also got latex gloves. Probably won't fit my hand. I got I got big bare hands, you know. So, but you know it, it it's better than nothing. Um, I'll probably keep these in here. They're not exactly going to be 100% sterile, obviously, but you know, once again, a little bit better than nothing. So, and last on that list, as you guys uh, know, um, aspirin. Who knows if this actually works? It's a cheap company, but it hopefully does some here. You can see what it does. Pain, fever, colds, muscle pain, headache, toothache, menstrual pain, pain of arthritis. Basically, um, this, you know, if you get hurt, you want a little pain or you get chronic headaches, something like that, it'll be good to have, have in your bag. Um, and it's one of them annoying push down and, and twist to get in. I'm going to keep it sealed. Um, that way kids can't get into it childproof. Supposedly, um, it's got 140 tablets. I was getting only a buck, so I figured this would be better than buying them little packets. I guess. So. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to uh, to show you on this one. Um, I spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen bucks on all of that. And hopefully I'm not forgetting anything um, from that purchase. So if you guys want to like, comment, subscribe, feel free to give me any um, any tips. I love them. And um, I'm definitely going to work towards building my own bag. And, um, you know, see what else other, other companies are offering. Um, but I think building my own is going to definitely be cheaper. It's just whether or not I'm going to be able to squeeze everything into that little thing but uh all right guys i will catch y'all later peace out